Hey guys, this is Gilbert from Click Deploy, and I'm going to just uh, go through a quick tutorial, a quick demo on how to use Click Deploy to deploy WordPress sites. So, as an example, we've got this repository here. Uh, this is actually the, 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 the real repository that I use for my blog at gilbert.pelegram.me. And it basically contains a slightly more advanced WordPress setup that you might see these days. So it uses um, WordPress installed via Composer. Um, it puts everything else in the public folder. Um, so you can see here's my, my WP config file um, and my, my content folder now holds any plugins and themes. And uh, it also kind of moves the uh, the config file is, is set up differently so that the configs are in this local config.php. Um, but as you can see, the, the, the config variables are just normal WordPress variables. The, the only difference is the structure of the, of the site and of the setup. So it's a bit of a more advanced WordPress install, but that's, um, it's, in some ways that's quite normal these days for WordPress. And I'm just going to show you how to deploy an advanced WordPress setup like this using Click Deploy. So if we go to Click Deploy, um, I've set up the project already. So I've already um, set up the project to pull from my blog repository at GitHub, which is what we just looked at, on the master branch, and we're just doing it manually at the moment. I've also set up my test server here, um, and you can you would do this just yourself, just have your, your server details in here, nothing special. And the other thing that I've done already is that I've set up my SSH key on my server so that Click Deploy can access my server. So other than that, um, we, we would normally just hit Deploy now if it was a normal site, but there's a couple of extra things I want to show you with this that we, we've done um, to be able to, to do this deploy. The first thing is that um, we're going to run some hooks after deployment. Now I said earlier that um, my WordPress uh, setup uses Composer to install WordPress and different things. So if we just look at my composer.json file, you can see here that we're actually using um, some custom repositories to install some different plugins to install WordPress itself. This is the, the WordPress um, project that we're using to install via Composer. And it does some cool things like it, it sets up the, the, um, the non-default paths for um, where to install certain things. So that's our composer.json. And so after running our deployment, we're going to want to run Composer Update, and that way everything will be kept up to date, WordPress will be installed, and all the plugins will and WordPress will automatically be updated every time we do a deployment. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is, is that we're also going to deploy our custom um, file. So this is our, our custom config file. Uh, I showed you earlier the local version. This is the file that is going to contain all of our live um, config variables for WordPress database connection info and that kind of thing um, and that this is where it's going to live it's going to live in config forward slash live config .php. and so that file should be deployed to WordPress so we're just but that's pretty much it that's all that you need to do that's all you need to set up and um, we're just going to hit deploy now and, and watch the deployment run so And that's us, that's the deployment run. So as you can see that um, we, we've pulled the, the repository in, um, we've deployed our, our config file here, and the, we've then run composer update, and this is all the the, the, the word the, um, the installers package, WordPress itself, and then all of the plugins that we've asked um, composer to install. And, and that's it, the deployment's there. So this is my test site at the moment, it has nothing on it, or it had nothing on it. But now that we've deployed, if we give it a refresh, hopefully we should see the WordPress install page. And that's it, that's how easy it is to um, set up and use um, WordPress deployments and click deploy. And even for advanced things like um, using Composer and, and different things that you could do with your repositories, they're all supported by click deploy. So um, using the, the pre and post development hooks are, are powerful ways of being able to set up your project in whatever ever way you want. So yeah, that's how to deploy WordPress using click deploy.